So there's some new John Boyega stuff going around, notably this clip where he says, hey, I'm open to returning as Finn if the right people are involved. And he names Kathleen Kennedy and J.J. Abrams. Now, I'm not endorsing those two. (laughs) I'd rather both of them leave Star Wars for a long, long time. But there's an interesting name that doesn't get mentioned. For him to return to Star Wars. That's Ryan Johnson. He is not he's not named at all. Further pushing the idea that a lot of people didn't like working on that movie. It didn't like the direction that that movie was taking. That movie went out of its way to destroy Finn in some ways. Because he had a lot of character development in the first one. And then they send him off to a casino planet. And that's where he stays the whole movie. He doesn't do anything. Nothing he does there matters. Nothing that he brings back matters. If anything, he just kind of made things more of a mess. And then in the third one, he kind of has a little bit more development again, but not very much. Uh, He just hangs out with the main characters a little bit more. Give him, of course, more screen time. Because if you're around a main character, you're going to be on the... You're going to be on the screen a little bit more, whereas in Last Jedi, he was just kind of off doing a side quest because Ryan Johnson didn't know what the hell to do with him. But hey, let's pack him in there anyway. So, as you know, I want to, I want to point this out too. I'm reading that the clip that this is from, that it's old. Like before his angry comments when he got angry over the summer and was burning Disney down. Apparently, this comes from before that, but I don't think that matters too much because, if anything, I want to point out that The the Last Jedi was a bad movie and that John Boyega doesn't want to go back and work for Ryan Johnson, who everybody claims is the best thing ever. Everyone on Twitter, everyone loves Ryan Johnson. John didn't. He he liked him, really. He just wanted to hang out with him. Ryan was too busy, but they're good friends. He would definitely come back for, for Ryan Johnson. Nope. No, he wouldn't. So let's go through this. It may not be out of the question for John Boyega to return to the galaxy, to a galaxy far, far away, if the stars align. In a resurfaced clip from a 2020 interview with Jake's Takes, Boyega, who played Stormtrooper turned Resistance fighter Finn, affirmed that he would be open to playing playing in the Star Wars world again if Kathleen Kennedy and J.J. Abrams are involved. Whichever way, I am open to the conversation as long as, as, it is, as long as it is Kathleen, JJ, and maybe somebody else, and the team. It's a no-brainer. And this is the clip here. It's about like 30 seconds long. But it's just the fact that he doesn't give Ryan Johnson any love. And in all of the articles covering this, none of them mention that. That Ryan Johnson gets no love. Now, I know Kathleen Kennedy being named, uh, that's not much better. But what we're focusing on right now (laughs) is The Last Jedi. Because that's what really shattered this whole sequel trilogy. You messed it up. You can never get it back. As Nerd Roddick says a lot, and he makes a really good point, like... How, how they screwed these movies up. Like, how do you not have Han Solo, Leia, and Luke together all in a scene? They didn't do that. And you'll never be able to fix that. Now, John Boyega, his character was probably the more interesting character of the sequel trilogies. Like, he had the potential to have a really cool story. Former Stormtrooper, fights for the Resistance, has Jedi-capable powers. He can... He can wield the force with some training. That's an interesting concept. And that's really what should have been the focus of the new trilogy. Maybe have him get together with Luke and train him. And then they go fight together. Nope, that's not what happened. We didn't get any of that. We didn't get any of that. Because they had no plan. And we already talked about how they had no plan in the first place. But to me, this is salt that they didn't want to. This is salt towards Ryan Johnson. And I know a lot of people in the mainstream media don't want to focus on that and they don't want to talk about that, but it's true. This is big time salt thrown at Ryan Johnson and it's hilarious. 
The fact that Boyega referenced Kathleen JJ and the team in his response implies that he would be interested in returning the franchise to if it was with people he felt most comfortable working with. Boyega has since made distinct comments expressing his unhappiness with Finn's arc, specifically in relation to the storylines that came after the new trilogy characters were introduced in 2015, The Force Awakens. Then he goes on to talk about how he just felt that he got the short end of the the stick. And it's true. He did. You should look at what what happened to China and how over in China, like they put a, like a where's Waldo situation with John in the poster. Like, where did he go? Because he was very prominent front and center in the American poster. But, you know, Disney, they, they love all these. They're champions of woke causes, I guess, as long as they can be edited out quickly in other countries. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all this. I'd like to hear what you have to say. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, take a moment. Make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Uh, there's something going on right now, and they've been unsubscribing people. So just take a second and double check on that and subscribe if you're new.